poured through for the backup camera and now I will be screwing it on to stick here. And so now I've put on this foam pad that comes in the kit and I've just stuck it on there right at the center point and we'll be drilling two holes through these holes. <laughs> have got the secured or sorry the reverse camera attached with the two screws um with the foam pad right beneath it and then the wire comes through this hole first step is to open up this trunk here and start by removing this carpet pad so i just stick in the screwdriver and pull until the these little plastic knobs come out there's quite a few and just take all of these out and then this carpet will come so I've off. I've taken off the black um, carpet on the back of the trunk. And as you can see, this is the reverse light. So this white um, light here. And so when we open back up the trunk, revealed here is the connector for the light. And you can see a red and a black wire. So this is what we're going to be connecting the backup camera to. So when we put the car in reverse, the camera turns on automatically. Okay, so now I have unscrewed the bulb from the light. That's where it sits. And now we will try to connect. So this is the a light. wire that plugs into the backup camera. And then on the other side of it is this red wire. Let me get this focused here. And this is what we will be attaching to the reverse light red wire. So first I'm gonna strip about this much off of the wire. Okay, so I have stripped the wire about this much stripped about yay much of this black coating from the wire and my backup camera only attaches to the positive lead of the reverse light which is this red wire here yours might attach um to both and it might have a red and a black wire which in which case you'll attach the red here and then the black to the white but i'm just going to be attaching the red to the red um i don't actually have any of those wire taps so I'll have to be doing this wiring on my own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to strip a piece of the wire right in the middle here. Okay, so we have gotten the wire, the red wire stripped here just a little bit. And I'm gonna get a tool so that I can make a hole in the middle and separate these two halves of the wire. Okay, so as you can see, I have now put the wire through the hole that I've made and I'm now attaching the reverse, oops, the reverse light camera to it by twisting in the middle and I will link the YouTube tutorial tutorial that I watched for this if it works. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna keep twisting around and then before I seal everything up with electrical tape I'm going to actually check and make sure that it does indeed work. So now that that is connected, I'm going to take some electrical tape and just run it over. Um, I got some high quality electrical tape. Um, in the video I watched, he said, do not get the cheap stuff. So this stuff costs about $8 a roll and I'm gonna use it to tape so this I will up. be installing the dash cam right between these two license plates light right in the middle. So my first step is I'm gonna take a piece of tape and just put it right along here mark the halfway point. I have the tape on there. I'm going to kind of eye where I want to put my um, backup camera. So I'm going to drill three holes, um, one for the screws and one to feed the wire through. I've now drilled a hole right in the center of this two lights and I put the cord through for the backup camera and now I will be screwing it on to stick here. And so now I've put on this foam pad that comes in the kit and I've just stuck it on there right at the center point and we'll be drilling two holes through these holes. Now we have got the secured, or sorry, the reverse camera attached with the two screws um, with the foam pad right beneath it. And then the wire comes through this hole over here, which I'm gonna fill with silicone. And the wire from the backup camera now comes through here. And I'll be attaching this to the reverse light wire. My next step is just taking this wire from the camera, running it all the way down. And I pulled back the carpet here and there is this hole that goes right to the front seats. So I fed the wire through there. 
coming around the back door now. I took the wire and it came through here. I just had to pull back the shoulder of the seat a little bit, pull it through. I've pulled up this baseboard and put it under here and now the wire is currently sitting there. And I fed the wire through the seats 